Hello guys, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful country of Greece and I'm visiting one of the most spectacular of the Greek islands here in the Ionian Sea. The Ionian Sea separates Greece from Italy. I'm visiting the island of Kerkira as it is known in Greek or Corfu or Corfu as it is known internationally. I'm about three kilometers directly south from the main town of Kerkira and what you're looking at right in front of me is the beautiful peninsula of Kanuni or Canon. It is known with this name because of a Venetian canon that has been placed on the peninsula since the 17th century after Christ. In this particular video, we're going to visit one of the most photographed islands here in Kerkira or Corfu. You're looking at it right there in front of me. This is the island of Pontikonisi, or the Mouse Island here in this beautiful, spectacular island. Now, if you ask any Greek if they know Mykonos and Santorini, they will tell you, of course they do. And then if you ask them if they know Pontikonisi or the Mars Island, they're going to smile and they say, of course I do. What do you think I am? And that's because this small island, although it's about 150 meters on each side, it is one of the most photographed, scenic, and beautiful of the Greek islands. So for today, we're going to go to the coast of Kanoni. Right down there, we're going to take the boat and go for a trip a trip to Pontikonisi here in Kerkira. Let's do it. Okay, I'm now on the bottom of the hill of Kanoni. Let's turn around. That's the island of Pontikonisi or Mouse Island. Let's take this opportunity to videotape the whole area here while a an aircraft is landing at the International Airport right there. Unfortunately, the southern end of the runway lines up with two of the most scenic and famous sites here in Kerkira, the island of Pontikonisi, or Mouse Island, and the island of La Herne that you see right in front of us, right there. Now let's walk on the causeway here. Let's go buy a ticket for Mouse Island. It will cost us two euros fifty. Every time you see photographs or videos of Kerkira, you will see these two islands without a doubt, Black Herne and Ponticonisi. Here are the boats. I'm gonna buy our ticket right here, board the boat, and then visit one of the most famous sites in Greece. This is our boat. Okay, let's uh, video take the whole trip here. We are leaving. Let's get a beautiful view of the monastery with uh, the small marina in front of it. Once again, that's a small island here with the 17th century monastery of Virgin Mary of La Herne. As you can tell, the boat behind me is full of tourists. Let's get the beautiful views of the area here. The whole trip takes less than three minutes. Now you can stay on the island for as long as you like and take uh, one of the boats that departs and departure is, is every 20 
20 or 30 minutes or so, or depending how soon the boat fills up with people. And uh, here is a view of the boat, a view of the surrounding area, and right there in the distance, the area of Canoni with the 17th century monastery of La Herne in the front. Let's go walk around and let's enjoy the views and hopefully we're gonna get away from these two very noisy dogs so we can videotape the whole site. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna have to climb about 50 or so steps to go to the top here at Panticonisi in order to get beautiful views of the surrounding area and of the small church up here. Come on. Here we are. And on top of the steps, we find a beautiful 13th century after Christ Byzantine church. You can see views of it right here. You can see the top of the church from the Canoni area. The rest of it is covered because of the cypress trees and the pine trees all around it. This is one of the most visited areas here in Kerkira. It's a very, very small church. Let's wait for the Russian tourists to leave and we're gonna get a chance to go inside. To the right of the entrance to the church, there's a small gift shop, as you can see. Here's the entrance. Let's go inside. There's nobody here right now. It's a very small church. It barely fits 10 people. That's the iconostasis and the altar behind it. There are some very old icons. What a beautiful small church here in the center of this very iconic island, Mouse Island. Beautifully preserved, the church that is. Built in the shape of a cross, as you can see. That would be the top of the cross, the altar. That's the right side of the cross. And the bottom side is behind me. And here's a small dome and a beautiful view of it. Okay, that's our boat right there. It hasn't left yet, thankfully. Let's go this way. These are the steps that we took to go out to the top of the hill to view the church. The church, by the way, is dedicated to God, the Creator. Pantocrator, as the Greeks call it. Now, this island is so teeny, so small. It's about 100 meters on each side. It is called Mouse Island because of its size and because the staircase that we took up to the top resembles the tail of a mouse. So the story goes. In Homer's Odyssey, we find this island mentioned and it is claimed that this is where the ship of Odysseus crashed at during his 10-year adventure around the Mediterranean. OK, 
Okay, let's uh, say goodbye to Ponte Cornici. Okay guys, and that's our very last view of Ponte Cornici of the Mouse Island in the distance as we view another boat loading up for the trip to the beautiful island. It's a great trip for two and a half euros for the cost to get there by boat and that's another view of the monastery that we're going to see in a different video. This is Vic, thank you for joining me. Time to go to the main town of Kerkira and videotape one of the forts. Bye bye.